Hey everyone, welcome to the studio. Today we're going to 3D print and assemble this super creative box with a folding origami lid designed by VimV, which has been gaining popularity on Thingiverse over the last month. I'll also dig into some of the design features that allow this contraption to work the way it does. Link to the original STLs is in the description down below and I definitely recommend checking out his other designs while you're there. If you like this video and want more 3D printing in your life, please like, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. Now that I've run everything through the slicer, let's dive into it. Now that I have all the parts printed out, let's put it together. So first I'm going to take my large middle sections of the origami lid and flip them so the slotted side has its open face pointing down, and this is going to help me make sure that my parts are oriented correctly during assembly. Next I'll take the smaller triangular pieces and form two squares with the larger parts, making sure the axle is in the top left pointing up, and the hole is in the bottom right with the slotted side's open face pointing up as well. Now, assembling the two halves of the lid is quite simple since they each basically consist of two hinge mechanisms. So I'll take the pins and slots and just slowly slide them together. Each slot does have a small raised section in the middle that will pop into a notch on the pin, which will tell me when the parts are fitted properly and help secure them together during use. To join the two halves together, I'm first going to make note of which part has a small L etched into it and I'll place it on my right hand side with the axles opposite each other. I'll then flip each half over and insert the knob to both parts with the lip facing away from the axles. Next, I'll take my lock and squeeze a little bit of glue into both holes. Press it onto the underside of the knob with the hook facing the axles and let it dry. And last but not least, I'll go ahead and attach my lid assembly to the box. And to do that, first I'll bend each of my hinges 90 degrees. I'll then insert each axle one by one into its respective slot. Next, I'll go ahead and give it a try, opening the lid all the way so that I can easily access the spaces where the axle locks will go. And with the lid out of the way, I'll take each of my axle locks and press fit them into their respective spaces with the rounded protrusion on top facing towards the axle. And I did struggle with the second one, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. There we go, and that's all there is to it. With all the parts assembled, the different hinges on the lid should rotate smoothly, but not necessarily freely. There should be a little bit of stiffness, which is what allows the lid to stay partially open like I've shown in some of the images. So after putting it together, how does it all work? Let's start with the locking mechanism. 
The base of the box has this small crevice where the lock fits in, but that doesn't account for how it actually locks. For that, the knob is used to tilt the hook on the lock back and forth so that it slides in and out of a small notch in that crevice. So you can see as I pull the knob towards me, it locks the box as the hook slides into the notch, and then as I push it away from me, it unlocks the box as the hook slides out. And moving on to the best part of this design, the origami lid. The whole lid assembly involves four axles and four revolute joints that are limited to 90 degrees of rotation. Similar to a normal hinged lid, I'm moving my hand in an arc to open it, but unlike a normal lid, this one appears to split apart and reform during that process, giving a cool appearance of origami. The reason that happens is a combination of all the axles and revolute joints I mentioned. As I move the knob in an arc, the two halves of the lid both rotate around their axles on the box and around the axles on the knob. Since the axles on the box are fixed and the knob is constrained to the center line of the lid, the hinges are necessary to allow each half of the lid to compress itself so the knob maintains a constant horizontal distance from the axles on the box. You put all of that together and you get a really creative take on something as simple as a lidded box. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, stay creative and keep printing.